Hey there everyone, my name is Nam Pham and what I'm going to be doing now is installing the motors onto the frame. So these are the Zing 2207 2750 KV motors. They come from iFlight, um, a reputable brand. I think they're pretty good so uh, let's get them going in. So you can see I have um, soldered on uh, uh, extension wires here. Uh, the only reason there is because I had tried to install this onto another quad, tested it out and um, took it off that quad for this frame. So um, I'll uh, be installing it now uh, onto each one of these. So there's no particular order. I'll be putting this one onto the uh, front left. So pretty simple. I'm just going to turn it over um, and get out the screws. So I'll show you, I'll install one of them and then fast forward the rest of it so you don't have to go through watching it individually. The screws that come with this motor already has some Loctite put onto it, as you can see the blue there. So when we put it in, it should hold quite firmly. So you can see that also that this frame has two holes drilled right next to each other to create one elongated oval hole. Um, these motors would actually fit on the inside of this hole uh, or each one of these holes and I think the, the design of the frame is made so that you can install larger motors onto this as well. So using a driver I'll be putting this one on. I'm only going to put it on lightly and what I like to do is actually alternate doing it diagonally first. So that's only on finger tight. I can feel the lock tight already getting in. I'll get these ones in as well. Alright, so that's the third one and the fourth one here. So as you can see, these screws are the correct length for this frame. And I think I flight when they designed this, they had intended it for frames that are five millimeters thick um, or maybe even six millimeters thick. Um, you can see that the screw, or perhaps you might be able to see that the screw um, just kind of peaks out there only by about half a millimeter. So that's just enough to hold it in. I think that's actually um, yeah, the, the optimal amount to hold them in. And I'll do the rest to the other motors onto the frame. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the motors are installed. I only installed them finger tight, not too tight. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that or learned something from it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, check out the description for the products for uh, these motors from iFlight. Um, they seem to look really good. Uh, look quite well on this um, uh, frame as well, the Gap RC Mark IV uh, five inch clone frame. So yeah. Um, hope you liked it, enjoyed it and uh, yeah, happy flying.